Hey guys, for this video we're going to take a look at this Seville Classic storage cabinet that I picked up on Amazon. But, before we can check it out, we have to build it, so I want to show you how that's done. Also, one thing to keep in mind, this is over 120 pounds, so when you get it delivered to, you, to your house, have a way to get it inside or be prepared to break it down outside and bring in the individual pieces. Let's open it up, see what we got. Comes pretty well packed. Lots of styrofoam, everything's in plastic get it all pulled out when unboxing this guy it's mostly metal panels but we do have instructions here one of our styrofoam pieces has a bunch of cubbies embedded with all our hardware that we'll need we have a box with the casters you can make life a little easier on yourself by organizing this stuff as you unbox it you're gonna have four pieces with this like flange on the side and those are your back panel pieces there's also stickers that label them but group those together we have three shelves that I grouped together they also have a sticker telling you what they are our side panels have these raised lines going through the side of them and there's four of those panels then as we look at our hardware the bags are numbered so bag 34 bag 23 bag 42 so the instructions will tell us where to use each one it also comes with a Phillips screwdriver. Maybe the world's cheapest Phillips screwdriver, but it'll probably work if you have nothing else. For step one, we're going to assemble the left side panel, then the right side panel. So you need A1 and A2. Those are those panels with the horizontal lines going through them. You're also going to need number 40, uh, A3. A3 is the angled brackets right here one on each side that's in your styrofoam cubbies that I showed you and the hardware you're going to need is bags 41 and 42 so 41 is these little bolts 42 is these longer bolts let's get it put together we have our first pieces you can see it's labeled left side upper panel and left side bottom panel we also have the angled piece here and you'll see we have two sets of holes that need bolts, and then this will go all the way through to that rivet nut on the bottom, and we have three across the top, and that's where we're att attaching our bracket. So you line up those two holes there, and the three there. The number 42 bolts are gonna go from the top down, the shorter bolts are going to be right in the face right there. One tip when putting anything together, make sure to get all the bolts and the steps started first and then go back and tighten them all down. Now the holes here were slotted, so we're going to tighten down these first and that will line these guys up and we can tighten them down. All tightened up for the next step, we're doing the exact same thing. Grab two of these panels, your angled bracket, same bolts, same spots, and your second step will be done. Next up, we're going to assemble the doors. You need number 6A1, which is the top door panel. 6A2 is the bottom door panel. Number 41 bolt is going to go here, and that's the short bolt that we used in the last step. Number 6A3 is this bracket right here, and that's in with your styrofoam. And it looks like that gets attached with number 52, which are these small bolts in the bag labeled 52 so let's do that i don't think the instructions did a very good job of explaining this part but the same number 41 bolt that you're using right up here there's your nut for it you're also going to use that in these four spots here and then this fatter number 52 bolt is just used on these four holes on this part of this bracket so the bracket sits like so use the 41s here and the 52s coming in from here well, that's what it looks like all put together those four screws there once you get everything all started before you tighten it down make sure these two pieces are flush right here and when they are tighten it all down the next step is to do the other door and it's the exact same thing get your top and bottom panel Get your bracket, get the 41 bolts, get the 52 bolts, exact same thing one more time. All right, and with that all put together, we have finished the second door.
All right, you gotta check out how goofy this is. Okay, so obviously this is the front, right? That's the first page. And then our, our actual first page is an exploded view with all the parts and pieces, right? And then we went on and we did those steps right there. And then you get to page three and it's the parts list of what is supposed to be in the box. Why is there a parts list after we've already completed a couple of steps? Like, hey, let's waste a half hour of their time first and then they find out that they don't have all the parts. <laughs> Wow, that is so goofy. Anyway, there's the parts list. Should have been before the first step. Holy crap, more parts list. Now we've seen some of these parts already. The key is taped inside the door handle by the lock, by the way, if you're looking for it. More parts list pages. So we get to the next step, it says, no, we recommend using two people to assemble the cabinet. You're going to need two people, or if you're like myself, just one extremely talented person. This is crazy. So, the first part of this assembly is the things we already did, and then the doors, which we already did. For the next step, we're installing the rod for locking the door. So, it was in plastic, and it's this long rod right there. The upper portion, this rod comes already assembled, installed, ready to go. This screw right here is already inserted into the bracket, so don't go looking for it. You just have to take this screw out, put this guy in, and um, it's all attached. Now, before you do the screw, make sure you run your rod through that bracket down there first. And then we'll do the screw. That's all installed. Notice this screw doesn't tighten all the way down. It has a little shoulder on it and that's so this can pivot when you're locking and unlocking. For the next step we're going to attach the top panel to the two side panels that uses six number 41 bolts that's these short guys we've been using and the top panel is number three you're gonna be able to tell it apart from the bottom panel because you're gonna be running out of panels here in a second because the top panel has their little name brand plaque on it now when you attach it, it says this should be down. So put this end on the floor, like so, and then we're going to get our two side panels and screw them into these three holes there. Got the left side put together with our three bolts right there. Now the sticker, this is number 2A1, and it tells you what is the top and the front. So nice and easy to line it up, put it together. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Side 2 is done. Get your three bolts. If you did it right, it's going to look a heck of a lot like the other side. The next step is to install the bottom panel. It is number four. And after that, the only panels you should have left are your shelves and the back panel. So it should be pretty easy to find. Again, you want four facing down because we have the other one facing down. And this time we're going to use bolts number 42. And those are the ones we opened in the first step that are a little bit longer. Bottom panel all installed. You can see three bolts on each side. My tightening method is as soon as it starts dimpling in the metal a little bit, then we're tight enough. Three on that side, three on this side. Let's move on to the next step. We're going to install the back panels. There's four total panels. We're going to start at the bottom panel, which is labeled. I'll show you here in a second. We're using the same short 41 bolts. That's our bag that's got a million in them. Here's our label. Shows that's the top, bottom, back panel, number 10 all lined up. For the bottom panel we're only going to put seven of the bolts in so three along the side here and then these two we're not putting anything in because later there's going to be a bracket that goes right here. We're going to put the center one in at the bottom and then these three on this side again leaving these two at the bottom open. Now we're going to do the first of two middle panels again there's three bolts along each side and it overlaps the bottom panel and we have a bolt on each end for that overlap. First middle panel's all in place. Do the same thing with the second middle panel. Second middle panel's all done. Just gotta put the top panel in. Now for the top back panel, we can go ahead and put all the bolts in, including these up here. And look, I was lucky enough to be blessed with a pre-dented panel. So hopefully once we get the bolt back in there, it'll be mostly all right. Top piece all on, getting those same bolts going all the way around the horn there. You had the two in the middle where it overlaps 
and my little dented spot came out pretty good. Can barely notice it now. Next up, we're putting on our casters. You have two with brakes on them. They go to the front, which in our orientation here will be at the bottom. The ones without the brake go on the top. They go onto these little pads with four bolts in each. You have a bag of bolts labeled number 17, and that's where they go. All four casters bolted on, ready to go. Next, we have to stand it up. Hopefully, it's not too heavy. Piece of cake. Next, we have to install some support brackets at the top, the middle, and the bottom. So starting at the top, we have 15-1 and 16-1. So 15's on one side, 16's on the other. It's in with your styrofoam there. You see the sticker on it. It gets attached with screw number 54. That's a bag we have not opened yet. And it is labeled 54. So here's where that top bracket goes. You're just going to line up the holes there and those two holes there. Have this other side already done. See so all lined up, tighten them down, you're good to go. Moving on to the middle brackets, you have two of those also. They don't have a sticker, but the bag is labeled number 17. You're going to use the same screws, number 54, that we used on the top. For the middle bracket, we're lining up these holes here. Notice they're spaced wider apart on the outside and narrower on the front side so just line up the bracket correctly and when you're all done it'll look like this now we have to put the bottom brackets on which are these little plastic bumper style guys so you have four of those and you're going to attach them with the black bolts that are number 16 if you can read the bag there we have four bolts it's going to go on just like that and get bolted down. First one's installed. Now these things are some kind of a plastic. You could drive that screw probably all the way through it if you weren't paying attention. You don't want to do that. But I did sink mine enough that the head is recessed inside there. So if we did bump into something, we don't want the head of the screw scratching anything. Uh, you know, so it just made it tight enough that you don't feel the head of the screw. All right, time to do -si do a little bit work on the next one all four done time to move on to the next step now we need to put our magnets on that'll hold the doors closed there's one on top one on bottom they're number 23 in this bag here we're using number 41 bolts to secure them and that's the short bolts that we've been using on and off throughout the whole thing top ones in Careful tightening these. You can see this one's kind of bent, that leg right there. That was tightening the screw too much, and it twisted it a little bit. So careful with that. You're going to do the same thing at the bottom. Those are the rivet nut holds that hold it. Now it's time to install the doors. We're using those same shorty 41 bolts, and it's a piano hinge, so we have bolts going all the way down it. Putting this door on, and a couple of tips I can give you. First off, lock your front caster so it doesn't roll around on you. But also... The hinge is slotted, the holes, so this can adjust up and down. So you definitely do not want to get any of these tight, any of the bolts going down here. Leave them all loose. I'm probably going to do both doors so then I can adjust the height up and down so that they look even and uh, doesn't look like trash. Got the doors all on and lined up. Came out pretty good if we look at the gap here. Now, I used every bit. Of the slot that we could this door on the right is as down as far as it can go the door on the left is as high as it can go so used it all up next we're going to put in our shelves we get three of them you can see they're fully adjustable we have those slotted holes all the way down the back and our we got a bag full of brackets they go in just like so and then slide down to lock into place and then this tab on here locks into the shelf right there to hold it there this is something you probably should be prepared to be adjusting at least until you figure out exactly what's going to be in your shelf for me i have no idea where i want to put the shelves right now but we'll throw them in and start loading this sucker up see what it looks like got the first one in working on the second see the bracket there it's a good idea to count your slots coming down because they need to all be in the exact same spot so we got one there got one there don't forget the front side there and all the way back there. 
Got all the shelves in for our temporary setup here. I'm going to start loading it up. May end up moving shelves, but it's super easy to do, so that's not a big deal. The only other potential building thing you might do is it comes with these straps that you can attach to one of the bolts in the back, and then you screw it to your wall so the thing can't tip over. I never use these. I think of it kind of as like a Darwin thing, so we'll leave them off. Well, it didn't take too long to get this thing fairly well loaded up. It looks like we'll be able to hold quite a bit. Be nice and useful in the office. Had all this in an open shelf before, and now we can just close the doors and nobody knows about our mess. Lock it down. Still rolls nice and easy. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Our Seville Classics storage locker cabinet thing. Thanks for watching.